back home. Only one game away. Be loud. We need you guys to do this. Be loud. <laughs> Two-time MVP Giannis Antetokounmpo encouraging fans to get loud tonight. We'll have team coverage from Milwaukee ahead of a huge Game 6. Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes jumps into the Senate race. A look at the crowded primary field and why this race will get the national spotlight. Plus, authorities are continuing to investigate as the search for answers in the Halderson case continues. We'll tell you where officials are looking now. This is News 3 Now at 5. But, yeah, Bucks and Six always. That's, that, that's for the culture. Eight years ago, Bucks then point guard Brandon Jennings said those now famous words, Bucks in Six. Tonight, that phrase could become reality. The Badgers stay gearing up for Game 6, the NBA Finals. Right now, the Bucks are up three games to two and can clinch the NBA Championship with a win tonight, which will be their first NBA title in five decades. We have team coverage as fans are gathering in Milwaukee and right here in Madison ahead of the big game. And let's begin with Jordan Reed, who joins us live in the Deer District. Jordan, what's the atmosphere like there now? <laughs> It is energetic, that's all I can say. In the last couple of hours since we first showed the Deer District, thousands of fans have started to show up, and this place is filling up now. All of these fans, of course, hoping to see the Bucks clinch the title for the first time in 50 years tonight. And as the road to the championship is winding down, whether that's with a Game 6 win tonight or if the series goes to a Game 7, the Bucks have been taking this time to reflect on what got them to this point. You know, whether that's the wins, the losses, injuries, especially the last three years and in the playoffs now through it all this team has finally broke through and they're performing on the biggest stage now the only thing standing between this squad and a title is one win every team's journey is a little bit different um every player's journey is a little bit different and um you know i think what we've been through the the last few years and, and where we are today it's it's all part of it it it, it makes us you know makes goes into making us who we are and i think hopefully better prepared whether it's from a technical standpoint, from a mental standpoint, from a physical standpoint. And the team knows that it's not going to be easy tonight, even though they are back on their home court, and they're just treating this like any other game. So coming up at 6, we're going to get to hear from Giannis one more time before tip-off. But I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio for now. All right, Jordan, in the Deer District tonight, thank you. And if only for one night, green and white replacing red and white here in Madison with Bucks fever hitting the capital city. Our Brad Hamilton is live on State Street tonight, speaking with folks who are fired up for Game 6. Brad? Yes, forever go Badgers, but tonight it's all about the Bucks. As the crowd continues to grow here, people are getting off of work and they're getting ready for game six. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. If there are any Giannis jerseys left in Madison, I'll be stunned. Plenty of people have, out, have been out here with uh, plenty of green on trying to support the Bucks. Uh, and we've heard a lot over and over again, Bucks and six. That is the theme here. We're standing actually right in front of Ian's Pizza on State Street, where we got a chance to speak earlier with their manager, Zach Chad about the impact this run has had on his business. He feels that this Bucks success has helped himself, but it's also helped the community get together. And in a deep playoff run has given us something to do during the summer. Um, so it's just been, you know, something that we can all relate to, something that we can all agree on, actually. Uh, we really enjoy it. Yes, it has been a huge success for his business. Uh, he says a bunch of people are expected to come in tonight and you can be here tonight until 2.30 at Ian's. He wanted me to make mention of that, that if you're celebrating, stop in for a slice. They're, uh, they're always having them ready, and there's going to be plenty of pizza to go around at Ian's tonight. But uh, reporting here in Madison for right now, Brad Hamilton, News 3 Now. Ah, uh, yes, they will run out of pizza, <laughs> that, I'm sure. Thank you, Brad. If you're looking to watch the game with Bucks fans right here in Madison, there are a few venues hosting watch parties. The Majestic hosting an event with DJ Nick Nice. Doors open 7 p.m. That is, of course, for fans 21 and older. Forward Madison will be hosting a watch party after the team's international friendly. That match begins at 7. Expected to end about 9 o'clock. Forward Madison will place a large video. 
video screen at the Burley Street end of the stadium. And the Memorial Union Terrace also plans to turn the iconic outdoor seating area into a watch party tonight. About 2,000 people will be able to watch the game there. We'll continue to bring you full coverage from Milwaukee before, during, and after the Bucks game on News 3 Now at 6 and 10. Also, the latest from the Deer District and Pfizer Forum at Channel3000.com. To weather now, a mild summer day. Will we see any showers or thunderstorms this evening? Let's get a look at your certified most accurate forecast with Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti on the weather patio. Gary? Well, Susan, I think my, my thinking is still about the same. Just an outside chance of a shower or thunderstorm. Most of us will stay dry. Visible cloud track shows a lot of haze from those wildfires uh, up to the north and west of us in southern Canada and even in the northwestern part of the country uh, bringing some smoke down. So because of that, the DNR has issued an air quality advisory until midnight tonight for particulate matter from some of that smoke. Now, as we take a look at Doppler track, things very quiet out there. It's possible there could be a shower or thunderstorm that pops up along a lake breeze front. And notice the difference in temperature. Madison right now in the mid 80s, but Milwaukee has dropped into the lower 70s. That's that lake breeze has worked inland uh, a couple of hours uh, earlier than what we were thinking yesterday. So should be very pleasant uh, right around uh, Pfizer Forum for tonight's game. The dew point temperatures, mid 60s here, but those will drop off a little bit for tomorrow. Heat index reading around uh, 87 here in town. So look for a low tonight of about 61. A high tomorrow, 79. So not quite as warm, a little less humid, and just an outside chance of a shower or thunderstorm during that time period. Later Later on, I'll take a look at more heat that's building for the end of the week. All right, Gary, thank you. An Amber Alert for four missing Racine children tonight. According to the Wisconsin Department of Justice, four children are missing. Six-month-old Zakai, two-year-old Zamari, four-year-old Zari, and seven-year-old Zamir White. The children are believed to be with 23-year-old Ariana Boutwell. Authorities say they believe Boutwell is driving a red 2016 Chevy Sonic with an unknown Illinois license plate. Anyone with information about that location is asked to contact police. Right now, Dane County Police are searching a landfill in Jefferson County, hoping to find more evidence in the murder of Bart Halderson and the disappearance of Krista Halderson. Dane County deputies recruited canine teams from the Madison Police Department to help search the landfill. The search has reportedly been going on for several days. The Dane County Medical Examiner is still working to identify human remains found in northwestern Dane County last week. It is now the first, second, or even seventh time a Democrat has now joined the race for U.S. Senate here in Wisconsin, but today's name is a big one. Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes formally announced his campaign today. Our Naomi Coles joins us to explain why Barnes' addition is significant. Naomi? Yeah, Wisconsin has never had a black senator, so off the bat, this announcement positions Barnes to make history in the state should he get elected. His name recognition, current position, and fair amount of popularity will put him in a strong position in front of a field that right now includes eight candidates vying to take Republican Ron Johnson's job. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the next United States Senator from Wisconsin, Mandela Barnes. It's not much of a surprise to anyone following Wisconsin politics. Well, certainly you'd be in that top tier. But Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes' statewide popularity does push him near the front of a crowded Democratic primary field. I know that we can do the work to create good jobs that are more than just a paycheck. Health care that's accessible to everyone. And we can address the climate crisis while lifting up communities from Beloit all the way to Bayfield. Other top contenders include State Treasurer Sarah Godlewski, Bucks Executive Alex Lasry, State Senator Chris Larson, and Outagamie County Executive Tom Nelson. Godlewski and Lasry have raised the most money of the Democrats so far. The governor did not endorse Barnes, which isn't uncommon for top elected officials in a primary. Just because you want to have a unified party behind whoever the nominee would be, that is something that could end up dividing the party. The Senate race in 2016 between Johnson and former Senator Russ Feingold set an all-time record with 44 million raised by candidates and almost 30 million by outside groups. The Senate being equally divided. With the Senate split 50-50, this race is almost certain to break that record. And the Senate race in Wisconsin already is seen as being one of the three most competitive races in the country, along with Pennsylvania and North Carolina are often mentioned as the other two seats that are most up for grabs in 2022. But meanwhile, the question that no one really knows the answer to yet, perhaps not even current Senator Ron Johnson himself. Will Johnson run again? You know, people like Mike Gallagher are kind of waiting on the sidelines, trying to see what uh, Senator Johnson's going to do. 
Now today's announcement is already causing a little bit of drama and division. Barnes former campaign manager from his lieutenant governor run tweeted quote proud to be supporting the most progressive candidate in Wisconsin Senate race Chris Larson someone who recognizes it's not about him. Now he's now the campaign manager for Chris Larson. Naomi, thank you. Doctors don't just believe that unvaccinated people will get the Delta variant. Some fear it will be the most serious virus of your life if you do get it. And that has Madison's public health leader sounding the alarm. Here's our Christina Lori. UW Health's Dr. Jeff Podhoff says there used to be three options when it came to COVID here in Dane County. Get vaccinated and protect yourself. Don't get vaccinated and just live your life. Or don't get vaccinated but live cautiously enough that you can avoid COVID. With the Delta variant now the dominant strain here in Dane County, Dr. Podhoff says that third option is not an option at all. If you're not vaccinated, uh, it's a not a matter of, you know, if you will get COVID-19. It's just a matter of when will you come across it. Local health experts agree this strain of COVID is different and deadly. The proportion of our cases that are the Delta variant um, increased really quickly and really dramatically. Brittany Grogan, Public Health Madison Dane County's data analyst, gave us this timeline. In April and May, there were no cases of the Delta variant in Dane County. By June, Delta was responsible for one third of all new cases. Now, more than 80% of the county's cases are the Delta strain, and that percentage continues to climb. And then, you know, see what happens. Uh, do you get by with mild? disease or are you unlucky and do you end up you know in a hospital or worse now to the question of mandates and lockdowns could either happen again we'll have your answer ahead at six reporting in madison for news three now i'm christina Lori. christina thank you in the meantime if you aren't vaccinated but would like to get a shot you can find your nearest vaccination site just by searching your zip code in a link that we've posted on our website channel 3000.com at a senate hearing on capitol hill the government's top health experts were asked about breakthrough infections. Dr. Anthony Fauci said the vaccine is still the best defense, especially against serious disease. When you hear about a breakthrough infection, that doesn't necessarily mean the vaccine is failing because it's still holding true, particularly with regard to protection against severe disease. And the Delta variant now accounts for more than 80% of cases. There's new COVID guidance from the American Academy of Pediatrics recommending that all children over the age of two wear masks when they go back to school, even if they are vaccinated. That suggestion comes despite CDC advice that vaccinated students don't need to wear masks. More than 4 million children have been infected during the pandemic. There are fears that number could rise due to the Delta variant and looser COVID restrictions. A slight increase of Wisconsinites vaccinated in the past 24 hours. Right now, 51 1.1% of the state's population has had one COVID shot. 48.8% has completed the vaccine series. And in Dane County, 67% of residents have now completed the vaccine series. And if you're looking for a COVID vaccine in Rock County, the free clinic at Blackhawk Technical College will continue to offer the shot. Rock County health officials say they would stop, said they would stop operations on July 15th, but now they will be open two days a week for vaccines. The clinic in Janesville will be open Tuesdays, 11 a.m. until 5 p.m and Thursdays, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. You can register for the vaccine at vaccinate.wi.gov or you can walk right into the clinic. The State Department of Justice is encouraging survivors to report clergy and faith leader abuse. This is a safe, trusted place to report. People have the opportunity to report uh, in a confidential manner. Uh, and this is not a reporting system that's set up based on a bankruptcy's court's timeline or anybody else's timeline. This is an opportunity to report. So the number for Attorney General Josh Call says so far over 100 reports have been made on clergy abuse throughout the state. The state is working with the district attorney's office if they receive referrals that criminal investigations could happen. If you would like to report clergy abuse, you can. The number is on your screen, 1-877-222-2620. You can also report abuse at supportsurvivors.doj.
www.mattisonmedia.gov. One of the three men charged in connection with recent extortion crimes made against downtown Madison business owners last summer has pleaded guilty. William Shanley pleaded guilty to one count of threats to injure uh, of, uh, an accused of crime, party to a crime. Last summer, Madison police say Shanley and two other men demanded free food and drinks in return for not having the businesses destroyed by protesters. Shanley was referred to the defendant to first offenders program, so if he completes that, the case will be dismissed. The final frontier became the latest frontier for Jeff Bezos today. We'll have details on the historic launch to the edge of space. That's ahead on News 3 Now at 5. And coming up tonight at 6, we'll continue our team coverage in Milwaukee as the Bucks are one game away from clinching the NBA championship. That's tonight at 6. And the markets bounce back, soaring 550 points to the Dow. The Nasdaq jumps 224, the S&P up almost 65, and we'll be right back. At Gruber Law Offices, we've represented tens of thousands of people to have the ability and the privilege to make a difference in somebody's life is, is a pretty cool thing. Gruber Law Offices, one call, that's all. <laughs> no more Freon for your AC. Oh no, the homeowner's called Action Man and his action team. Call on Action Plumbing, Heating and Electric at IWantActionNow.com. The light at the end of the tunnel isn't shining so brightly for everyone. Families continue to fight for survival. Some jobs are gone forever. Bills pile up. But please know, you have not been forgotten. Your local Wisconsin energy and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your heat and power on. Apply now for a hand up. Fry Construction is celebrating 26 years of providing excellence in home improvements. We strive to exceed the expectations of our clients with each and every project we do. Respected by so many of your neighbors and voted best of Madison, Fry Construction delivers lasting quality for your home. In honor of our 26 years, we are offering 26% off gutters or insulation with any full roofing project. Schedule your consultation today at FryConstruction.com. Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Here's the thing. When you create a network as a local, you know the dead spots, so you fix them. You know the neighbors? So you're good to them. Did you drop these? You know the strongest signal comes from starting local and staying loyal, no matter how much you grow. The nationwide network built from your town up. Right now, get up to $1,200 off any 5G phone. No trade-in required or hidden fees. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. When you've been injured, we understand life gets tough. At Gruber Law Offices, your first call is free. Your first consultation is free. Stuck at home or in the hospital? We'll come to you for free. Call Gruber Law Offices now. We don't get paid until you do. Tonight is 6, an update on the search for Krista Halders and new information about where authorities are searching for the missing woman. And it could be an historic night in Milwaukee. We're live in the Deer District as Bucks fans prepare for Game 6 of the NBA Finals. News 3 Now's call for action gets answers when you can't. A COVID patient's care jeopardized by insurance denials. After we contacted Aetna, the company reversed course. News 3 Now's call for action. Taking action for you. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Welcome back. Blue Origins' Jeff Bezos has fulfilled a childhood dream of launching into space on his own rocket. The Amazon founder was accompanied by his brother Mark, 82-year-old aviation trailblazer Wally Funk, and Oliver Damon, an 18-year-old Dutch student. The flight comes on the heels of fellow, fellow billionaire Richard Branson's launch earlier this month, ushering in a new era of commercial space travel. Only very rich people or governments are going to be able to put people on board for a long time. So the question is, can they sustain this as a new marketplace uh, and keep it going long enough for economies of scale to kick in and prices to come down? 
Bezos wants Blue Origin to go to the moon and ultimately to colonize the cosmos. NASA congratulated the Blue Origin team, saying we look forward to future flights with researchers and NASA-supported technology payloads aboard. The Hubble Space Telescope once again sharing the universe with the world. NASA releasing these new images from the telescope. They're Hubble's first images since it returned to collecting information in space on Saturday. The first photo shows a pair of interacting galaxies. The second records a large spiral galaxy with three unusual extended spiral arms. Let's get a look at your certified most accurate forecast now. Here's Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti. Gary? Well, Eric, uh, kind of hard to look into space today because we had, uh, we had uh, haze from... Uh, <clears throat> This is the uh, yellow wireless microphone, if you can hear me there. Uh, so we've had a lot of haze from wildfire smoke through much of the uh, northern portion of the country, including Wisconsin. And we do have an air quality advisory for particulate matter until midnight tonight for uh, smoke from those wildfires. Uh, that's starting to filter down closer to the ground, and that uh, could lead to uh, more issues. Do we have another microphone here? Let's try another microphone. Okay. Can you hear me? There we go. There that, that's we go. Not, that sounds a little bit better. Um, for some reason, having a problem with our microphones today. So uh, three things you need to know in our forecast. Uh, look for a little break in the heat and humidity tomorrow. High temperatures will be in the upper 70s. The humidity levels will drop off a little bit, but that'll come right back for uh, Thursday, Friday, and actually all the way through next week. And you can see uh, thunderstorm chances, just a slight chance uh, from uh, Thursday into Friday, and then maybe a little better chance late Saturday into Saturday night, and then the low chances of return after that. Temperature change over the last uh, 24 hours. You can see a drop in temperatures to our north and east and also to the north and west. Now that's kind of interesting because yesterday, if you remember, Glasgow, Montana was at 110 degrees at this time. They're down to 83. So that's why they have a big temperature drop there. But you can still see triple digit heat over parts of North Dakota. The cooling here is actually a lake breeze and a weak cold front, which has come in from the north and east and is also dropping the uh, dew point temperatures too. So we're in the mid 60s here, but those dew points drop off. So we'll see a little break in the heat and humidity as we head into tomorrow. So you can see upper level winds right now from the northwest. That's what's bringing in that wild fire smoke. We can see very little in the way of cloudiness or precipitation out to the west of us. So while we can't rule out a chance for an isolated shower or thunderstorm, the chances are going to be pretty low. This front may generate a shower or thunderstorm, but you can see that's where that wind shift is. The lake breeze has now cooled Milwaukee out to 72 degrees while Madison is at 85 and La Crosse is at 90. So that's a pretty significant shift in the winds. As we take a look at future track, you can see an outside chance for a shower or thunderstorm tonight, an outside chance tomorrow. Most of the time will be rain free tomorrow night. Again, an isolated shower or thunderstorm and the same thing for Thursday. But by that time, the winds start to shift back to the south and west and that's when the heat and humidity really take hold. So as we check out our forecast for tomorrow, look for a high temperature of 79 degrees. So not quite as warm, not quite as humid, still an outside chance of a shower or thunderstorm. On future track, you can see just a slight chance for a shower or thunderstorm later tonight into tomorrow. Uh, but most of the time it won't be raining. Highs tomorrow, upper 70s. Notice that wind shift coming back to the south and then by Thursday, we're seeing those winds shift to the south and southwest and temperatures jump right back into the mid 80s. We'll be around 90 for Friday, Saturday and Sunday with uh, probably the best chance for a thunderstorm from late Saturday afternoon into Saturday night and then another chance as we head into the middle part of next week. As we check out first warrant traffic right now, we're seeing our usual construction delays on the Beltline, uh, especially between Monona Drive and Verona Road. Actually a pretty significant delay in the eastbound direction. Westbound delays start around uh, Seminole Highway and go back to John Nolan Drive. Right now a 23 minute trip on the eastbound Beltline. Line, 20 minutes on the westbound Beltline between University Avenue and the interstate. Heading out of Madison, our normal times down to Janesville from the Beltline southward, Middleton to Sauk City, and downtown to Sun Prairie. That's your news for now, First Horn Traffic. All right, Gary, thank you. How will lawmakers move forward with the massive infrastructure proposals? That's coming up next on News 3 Now at 5. News 3 Now First Horn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. He's got enough to think about maintaining. Good thing the all-new 2022 Volkswagen Taos has a lower cost of maintenance than Toyota RAV4. 
Come into your Volkswagen dealer today and lease the all-new 2022 Taos S for just $229 a month. Don't you wish you could wave a magic wand and have whiter teeth? Well, you can, but it's not magic. It's power swabs. Just swab your teeth for five minutes and boom, whiter teeth and a better smile. And since you're not dealing with messy trays or awkward strips, you're less vulnerable to the harsh sensitivity they sometimes create. I've used strips. They seem to really hurt my teeth. The power swabs, it just seemed very gentle. It's so simple and easy. You just open it, you apply it to your teeth, you forget it's there. And I noticed that they're white and bright again like they were before. I know I noticed actually a difference the first time that I use power swabs. You put on the first coat and then the activator goes on and immediately you start seeing it working. It only takes five minute applications to get a brighter, whiter smile with power swabs. You just snap, swab and smile. Power swabs have been clinically studied to whiten natural teeth and remove stains from caps, crowns and veneers. It's so powerful, it removes stains from coffee, tea, red wine and even smoking. I love my coffee in the morning. I will never stop drinking coffee coffee. I will not be the person drinking hot coffee with a straw. As much coffee as I drink, I can use my power swabs and eliminate the staining. When I use the power swabs, I applied it directly to my front tooth where the coffee stain was. I like being able to individually get the teeth and most importantly, it got kind of in between the grooves. You can put it directly on the stain that you see on your teeth and it's so precise. But as powerful as it is, it's also gentle and causes zero to minimal sensitivity. This didn't sting, it didn't burn, it didn't have an aftertaste. It was just a swab and I just got a rubber on my teeth and that was it. Take it from me as someone who has gone the dental route but has also gone on the shelf route and I've not really seen anything work as effective and as easy as power swabs. Whiten your teeth today by ordering power swabs and receive 40% off the regular price. Shipping is free plus you receive a free quick stick pen to use on the go after meals or a cup of coffee. Visit powerswabs.com or call the number on your screen. What can I get you, young man? Free installation! Coming right up. Feldco's biggest sale of the year! Free installation! Plus, no interest until 2023. Free installation on windows, siding, and doors end soon. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. You've got enough to think about maintaining. Good thing the all-new 2022 Volkswagen Taos has a lower cost of maintenance than Toyota RAV4. Come into your Volkswagen dealer today and lease the all-new 2022 Taos S for just $229 a month. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. The Senate is expected to cast a procedural vote tomorrow on a trillion dollar bipartisan framework, but there are concerns that the vote could fail. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is expected to bring up the procedural vote as soon as tomorrow to begin debate on the bipartisan framework that includes almost $600 billion in new spending on physical infrastructure. Some Senate Republicans say they won't support the vote before they can get a final reading of the bill. I think the vote should be held next Monday, not, to, not Wednesday. Give us the time to resolve the remaining issues. The Senate Democrats are keeping our foot on the gas pedal. Our caucus is eager to get to work to pass on a big, bold infrastructure package. House progressives say it doesn't go far enough, and they're also not sure the required 10 Republicans will vote to move it forward. The White House is honoring the latest Super Bowl champions, and quarterback Tom Brady had some jokes for the president. Not a lot of people, uh, you know, think that we could have won. And um, in fact, I think about 40% of the people still don't think we won. I understand that. You understand that, Mr. President? I understand that. Yeah. A ceremony was held to honor the team for its Super Bowl 55 win. The Bucks defeated the Chiefs 31-9. The win marks the seventh Super Bowl title for quarterback Tom Brady. Stay with us. We'll have a final check of your first one forecast in just a moment. At General Heating and Air Conditioning, your comfort is important to us. From keeping you cozy warm to cooling you off with the ultra-quiet, energy-efficient Carrier Infinity Home Comfort System. Plus, join our free home comfort program and keep your air conditioner and furnace running at peak performance year after year. Enjoy priority service and extra savings that really add up. Celebrating 75 years of providing award-winning comfort for your home. Turn to the experts, Carrier and General Heating and Air Conditioning.
Start your next update and save with 11% off everything at Menards. DuraClean is an interior paint and primer in one that features a washable, scrubbable, and stain-resistant finish. Save 11% on all Dutch Boy paints. Gorilla products provide great results for tapes, glues, and adhesives. With great versatility, there's no job Gorilla can't tackle. Save 11% on all Gorilla glue products, like this black duct tape, now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. All the time in the world, it's just a saying. But today, for women living with HR-positive HER2-negative metastatic breast cancer, more time is possible with Fresenio, proven to help you live significantly longer when taken with Fulvestrant. Fresenio plus Fulvestrant is for HR-positive HER2-negative metastatic breast cancer that has progressed after hormone therapy. Diarrhea is common, may be severe, or cause dehydration or infection. At the first sign, call your doctor, start an antidiarrheal, and drink fluids. Before taking Fresenio, tell your doctor about any fever, chills, or other signs of infection. Fresenio may cause low white blood cell counts, which may cause serious infection that can lead to death. Life-threatening lung inflammation can occur. Tell your doctor about any new or worsening trouble breathing, cough, or chest pain. Serious liver problems can happen. Symptoms include fatigue, appetite loss, stomach pain, and bleeding or bruising. Blood clots that can lead to death have occurred. Tell your doctor if you have pain or swelling in your arms or legs, shortness of breath, chest pain, and rapid breathing or heart rate, or if you are nursing, pregnant, or plan to be. More time is possible. Ask your doctor about Versenio. Looks like it's time to trade. Because it's trade month at your local Ford dealers. Get more cash for your eligible trade-in. Any brand, any model, all month long. Get trade assist cash on top of what your eligible vehicle is worth and trade up to a new Ford SUV. Your trade-in is worth more than you think, only during trade month. Right now, get up to 2,000 trade assist bonus cash on eligible models. It's trade month at your Wisconsin and UP Ford dealers. At J.P. Morgan, the only definition of wealth that matters is yours. It can be a smaller house, but a bigger nest egg, a goal to work toward, or the freedom to walk away. With 200 years of experience, personalized advice, and commission-free trades on an award-winning app, we're working for you. Planning, investing, advice. J.P. Morgan Wealth Management. We have an air quality advisory tonight. Yeah, that's for that uh, wildfire smoke that's overhead. Uh, you can see that haze in the sky from the WIC Sky Camp. Notice that little tiny line moving through uh, Walworth County. That's actually the lake breeze front moving inland uh, and it's shifting the winds, not generating any precipitation. But look at the difference in temperatures. Madison's at 85, Milwaukee right now at 72. So wow. you can see that that lake breeze will cool you down by a few degrees as it moves in and eventually it'll drop the humidity, at least for a day. All right, we're back in 30 minutes for News Now at 6. Stay tuned now for the CBS Evening News.